All right, y'all, what's good? It's Zach Samillion back at you, and welcome to another edition of our weekly pickums. I know I didn't pick last week, but um, I had a lot going on. Um, here were my picks last week. It was, I took Seattle over the 49ers. I took the Bills over the Jags. I'm going to keep it real with you. I, I did take the Bills. Um, I took the Dolphins over the Texans. I took the Jets as an upset over the Patriots. I took the Rams over the Browns. I, I, I'll be honest. I took the Steelers over the Chiefs. Um, I took the Colts over the Saints. I took the Falcons over the Titans. I took the Raiders over the Chargers. I took the Dallas Cowboys over the Giants. I took the Redskins over the Bucks. I took the Lions over the Vikings. I took the Panthers over the Eagles, and I took the Cardinals over the Ravens. I got the Bills, the Jets, the Steelers, the Colts, the Cowboys, and the Lions wrong. So I went in, how many games were played this week? So out of those, I got eight right, and I got six wrong. Um, but now we're going to be doing week eight. And we are going to be starting off with the Thursday night game, which features the New England Patriots hosting to the Miami Dolphins? Yeah. Hmm. I'm not, why am I even, like, thinking about this? I should instantly know Patriots are probably going to win this game. Um, oh, and before I go any further... The bye weeks look like this. The two London teams last week, which were the Bills and the Jags, the Redskins, and the Eagles. Next up, we got the San Francisco 49ers at the St. Louis Rams. 49ers ain't shit. I got the, I got the Rams. Rams pasted the Browns last week, and they're, they're going to do the same thing to the 49ers. Um... We got the Tennessee Titans at the Houston Texans. I got the Texans. I don't know. I mean, both these teams are trash. Um, outside of DeAndre Hopkins and J.J. Watt for the Texans. My God. I mean, that Hopkins kit for the Texans looks really, really good. And, um, of course, J.J. Watt being J.J. Watt. Um, I got the Texans. I mean, who's even good on the, on the Titans outside of Mariota? Kendall Wright? I don't know. Next up, we got... We got the New York Jets at the Oakland Raiders. Damn, this is... nobody. I guarantee you nobody predicted this to be a good football game. I guarantee you nobody did. Um... I got the, um... I got the Jets. I don't know. I mean, my heart wants the Raiders to win this game because I want the Raiders to do good, but I have a feeling the Jets are going to bounce back this week and get a win. Um, next up, we got the the um, Arizona Cardinals at the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns ain't about shit, and the Browns are, Browns are going to get murdered by the Arizona Cardinals. Um... Next game up, we got the Cincinnati Bengals undefeated at 6-0 going up against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, I got the Steelers as an upset, and I'll explain. Because they're home, Ben Roethlisberger is expected to come back into this game. And, of course, there was a lot of talk about whether or not he'd be back even for this game again, uh, in a big game against the Bengals. But, no, he should be able to come back. Um... Yeah, I, I got the I got the Steelers only because they're home. Um, let's see here. And oh, I'm doing this on my iPad, on my pad too. Next game up, we got the Detroit Lions and the Kansas City Chiefs from London. Both these teams suck, so I quite frankly don't care who wins this game. Um, why not? I'll take the Chiefs. I'll take the Chiefs because the Lions' defense sucks. Um, let's see. Next game up, we got 
The New York Giants at the New Orleans Saints. Damn. I mean, the Saints are playing better football, too. Wow. Um, this could, this game could go either both ways, too. Um, but the Giants are too Jekyll and Hyde. And right now, there's that's a bad Eli right there. And I think the Saints are going to lay a whipping on the Giants. I don't think I I think the Giants won't even eclipse 30 points. I think the Saints are going to murder that defense. I mean, come on, the Giants defense isn't that good. But um I mean neither is the Saints or Dallas's for that sake, but whatever. Um next game up, we got the Indianapolis Colts at the Carolina Panthers as the Monday night game. Man, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Panthers are going to kill these guys. Colts are, Colts are looking at firing their head coach. Um, I think Chuck Pagano's his name. Yeah, they're going to fire him. He's going to be gone. All right, next game up, we got the Atlanta Falcons hosting the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Atlanta. Yeah, the Falcons are going to win this game. They have too good of an offense. They'll get back on pace. I see Julio Jones maybe breaking a buck fifty. Um... Falcons are going to murder the Buccaneers. Next game up, we got the the uh, San Diego Chargers at the Baltimore Ravens in Baltimore. Man, both these teams are trash, but Baltimore has stayed in every single game this year. And, oh, not also to mention, Baltimore has yet to win a home game this year. They're owing, well, granted, they've only played two games at home this year. Um... Shit. Um, I'm going to take the Chargers. I think the Chargers beat them last year in Baltimore, I think. I'd like to say they did. And then they made the playoffs? I don't know. Leave comments in the comment section if you know. All right. Next game up, we got... Oh, by the way, I'm taking the Chargers. I think Keenan Allen's going to have over 100 yards. Next game up, we got the Minnesota Vikings at the Detroit Lions. Or, no, I'm sorry, not the Lions. That was last week. Um, the Minnesota Vikings at the Chicago Bears. I'm going to ride the train this time. I'm going to take the Vikings. I think the Vikings have a good football team this year. I think they're much improved by a long shot. They are very much improved. Um, a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, they faced the Detroit Lions twice. And I think they faced the Chargers and I think the Chiefs or something. I don't know. I really don't watch the Vikings much, but boy, when I do, they look good. At least Adrian Peterson does. Alrighty. And then I said the teams that were on by were the, the two London teams, Buffalo, Jacksonville, Philadelphia, and Washington were the other two. And last but not at least, this team right here, the Dallas Cowboys, will be at home, finally, at home versus the Seattle Seahawks. You know, you know, it all, I almost want to pick against my team. You know what I'm saying? Like, I almost want to. I mean, I don't want the Seahawks to win, but I have that sturdy, suspicious feeling that that they're going to win this game simply because we don't have Tony Romo. Even when Matt Castle had his high, high parts, like his highlights of the game, there was his lowlights. His lowlights, of course, were the three interceptions, the one pick six by DRC. Um... But to be honest with you, Russell Wilson hasn't really been that good this year. I mean, Russell Wilson's really struggled this year. Um, Wilson, I think, has got to throw for a 300-yard game this year, I think. I mean, I think that's the that's the word on the street. I don't think he's thrown for a 300-yard game this year. Um... I'm going to take Dallas. And I'm going to take Dallas by the slightest margin. It's not going to be close. 
okay? And it's not going to be a blow. It's not going to be a blowout. But I think the separation point wise at minimum will go by 10 points. If Dallas wins this game, oh, and not to mention, the only reason Dallas wins this game, we finally have and I think my nose is bleeding. I'm sorry. And I think the only reason Dallas wins this game The only reason Dallas wins this game, Big 88, Des Bryant is coming back. And it is from a report I got yesterday, Des Bryant is expected to play so, come Sunday afternoon at home against the Seahawks. Obviously, we know for the most part, Richard Sherman probably will be the guy guarding him. If not Sherman, maybe Cam Chancellor. I think Cam Chancellor is a safety, so I take that back. Sherman probably will have to guard Dez. Um, of course, with Byron Maxwell being in Philadelphia, that's one problem we don't have to see until next week when we play them at home. That is, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that's DeMarco Murray's homecoming return to Dallas. But that ought to be fun. That ought to be fun. But, um... Yeah, that's your, week, that's your weekly pick-ems for you. Leave comments in the comment section who you think will win. Um, go Saints, because they're the only team that's playing against a team in my division. Fuck the New York Giants. Let's go, Cowboys. Let's, come on, let's get this win. We got to get at least get two wins, if not one win. Two wins before Romo comes back. I'm out, everybody.